Quantum stock showed the resilience yet again today on some big news that Microsoft has a new Majorana chip, one, Majorana one chip, uh, that's going to lead some of their quantum efforts. So exciting news. And on the backs of that, some of the big companies rallied today in the quantum space. We're here to talk about probably one of the bigger ones uh, that's out there that's independent, and that's IonQ or I-O-N-Q as the call symbol, and why IonQ might just deserve a place in your portfolio for high growth investments. Remember, these can be quite volatile. Uh, IonQ had a had a low of six dollars and twenty in the, over the past year and a high of fifty four dollars, and presently at around thirty five dollars a share. That there's a lot of fluctuation, a lot of volatility, but. We'll come back to that in just a little bit. What makes INQ so special? Why is this considered perhaps one of the best, if if not the best, in the in the space? Well, hey, this company was founded in 2015 by two Duke professors uh, that that found the idea to commercialize ion uh, particles in quantum computing and, and utilize that. So they've actually had six generations of quantum computers as they refine, refine, refine the product. And as their computing products are actually available through all the cloud providers, uh, hyperscalers, so Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. Uh, this is quite exciting news. Uh, look, these are next generation companies. These are disruptors and they have a lot of innovative technology. So this really is the next wave of things. And despite some of the sell-off headlines we had back in January, these stocks uh, didn't fully collapse. They came down quite a bit in price. This provides buying opportunities for you and I if we missed it the first time around or if we want to add to positions that ran up quite a bit. So a lot of events for INQ uh, just in, in recent months. And let's not forget, on February 26th, after the market close, INQ is going to come out with their earnings. Uh, this could be a trigger to run considerably higher. Um, we'll find out very soon. But INQ has, has had racked up a lot of wins uh, recently. Uh, General Dynamics collaboration, uh, United Arab Emirates collaboration, uh, the Busan Metropolitan Government, that's in Korea for those who want to know, U.S. Air Force Lab collaboration. They closed in a small acquisi acquisition uh, in late 2024, Quibit Tech if I'm saying that one right. Um, but these are all great things uh, that companies that are looking to charge ahead engage in. They have fantastic technology and over 600 patents uh, with IonQ. So there's a lot of things happening. So let's take a look at the fundamentals and make sure that's still in alignment with where we're heading on this. IonQ, the company that's blazing the trail in quantum computing, um, Market cap of about $7.5 billion. Sizable, but not extreme. Uh, revenue this year, it's looking to be 37. That's the 37 million as they're trailing 12 months uh, run rate, but that's as of the end of Q3. Uh, expectations may run as high as the low 40s. We're gonna find out just next week where revenue stands, as well as the cash position. Now the cash position, uh, the net cash was somewhere in the neighborhood of $350 million net of debt at the end of Q3. And with a cash burn rate of about $120 million a year, that gives them quite a bit of uh, leeway and room to run to execute on their strategy. Price performance has just been phenomenal for these quantum stocks. Despite the pullback that we've experienced in 2025, uh, year, to, year to date down 16, 17, 18%, depending on when you look at the stock. But over the past year, it's up over 200% as well as over the five-year mark. So these have had quite a run, but is it done? I don't think so. Revenue, at least the CEO put out um, an announcement early in, in the year, early in January, saying that they're expecting revenue for the company, INQ, to hit a billion dollars by the year 2030. So that's a dramatic, that's more than a tenfold jump in revenue in less than five years or in about a five year run. That's huge. And if they're saying that, they may have expectations to beat that as they've tried to roll out technology faster than what they've told us as, as well. 
remember, these are volatile stocks. Uh, the companies may not be volatile. They've got steadily progressing technology, but as new announcements come out, remember, we've got Microsoft uh, now announcing that they have a quantum chip. You've had the Google Willow uh, chip. You've got Intel. You've got IBM circling. And then you've got the other competitors that we've already highlighted, Ragetti and uh, D-Wave, that also have very viable and strong product lineups as, as well. But since we don't know who's going to be the victor in all of this, and I think there's room for a lot of players, especially good ones like, like IonQ, uh, with fantastic technology, the analysts are, are calling for maybe a $30 to $60 range in 2025. All it takes is a couple of good catalysts, and these can spring significantly higher. So with revenue looking to build to a billion dollars over the next five years, that's a huge catalyst. And with a lot of technology and advances they've already highlighted, there's probably a lot more partnerships and growth to come this year. I'm looking for, for a pretty nice 2025 and in the years to come. And this is one of those stocks you may regret if you don't jump in on it. So I'm in on IonQ. It's a sizable position for, for me, uh, as I also have positions in Rigetti, D-Wave, uh, quantum computing, and the like. Um, but IonQ, I've held off on talking about that until recently, looking for that pullback moment. We're in the low 30s now, low to mid 30s. I think now's the time you can start to, to acquire build up a sizable position and watch this thing grow in the years to come. That's my thoughts. Tell me what you're doing below. In the comment section, I'd like to hear. Um, I'm bullish. INQ um, seems to have what it takes to get ahead. We'll talk with you again soon.